West Coast students will be creating three drafts of a presentation portfolio during each term. That's two rough drafts and a final draft. You'll then add these drafts to your assessment portfolio for evaluation. To do this, let's click on the Presentation tab and click Create Portfolio. The first thing we need to do is select a template. You can scroll through some of our suggestions and select one that you like. And then you're going to select the type of portfolio to build. We do have some pre-built portfolios that will suggest pages for you to include in your portfolio, or you can start off with a blank portfolio and create the pages yourself. You'll then need to give your portfolio a name and click Create Portfolio. And now we're into the content editor of the portfolio. This is where you can start adding text, links to files, images, lots of different things you can add here. The first thing you'll probably want to do is look at the pages of the portfolio and add in any new pages that you need. It might be helpful for you to create a page where your instructors can leave comments or feedback. Now that we have our pages created, we can start adding in content. Simply type in the box. And use any of the editing tools that we have available. Let's take a look at how you're going to add files or artifacts to your portfolio. Simply click on the Files tab. Once you've added files to your portfolio, they will show up here. If you need to add new files, just simply click Add Files. Search on your computer for the file that you would like. And click Add. Simply select the file that you want to add to your portfolio and click into the area for it to be placed. You can also add some rich content through our Gizmos tool. These are things like images and slideshows, videos, and here's that feedback page that I was talking about. So I'm going to go to my feedback page and add that feedback gizmo into my portfolio where now people can leave comments for me. Once you have all of the content in your portfolio that you want, the next thing that you'll need to do is check out this design tab. This is where you can choose a different template. I'm going to select this plain one here. You can also change the layout. That's how your menu and your um, title of your portfolio is going to be displayed. You can also change the column widths and the body width here. You can add a background photo. We have lots of different options for you to choose from. Just scroll through the categories and find an image you like. If you don't see one that you like, you can upload your own image. You just click on this Your Images tab and upload an image or select one that you've already uploaded. With the image that you select, we suggest a few color schemes for you. If you don't find any that you like, you can pick your own scheme. The Styles tab allows you to change The Styles tab allows you to change many different areas of your portfolio. We can change the color of the text for the whole site. We can change the color of these links here. I don't want them to be purple. You can even add in a image to the header of your portfolio. You can drag that around and resize it. There's lots of things you can do, rounded corners and adding a shadow. So feel free to get very creative. Once you have the changes that you want, click Apply. And then
then we'll close out of the Design tab. This is the first draft of my portfolio. When you're ready to make your second draft or final draft, you can duplicate this portfolio and make the edits that you need. Simply click on the More link and select Duplicate. And now I have a copied version of the portfolio that I just created. You're going to want to rename it to something that's applicable to you. And now I can go in and edit and make the changes for my second rough draft. So now that we have our portfolios created, we need to add them to our assessment portfolio. Click on this assessment tab at the top right, select the term, and the draft that you need to submit. Click the Add File button and select Add a Folio Tech Presentation Portfolio. Select the portfolio you want to attach. You can preview them if you're not sure which one you need to attach. And there we are. Now our portfolio has been submitted in the rough draft one for term eight, just like we wanted to. Let's take a look at the evaluations that have been scheduled for us. You can simply click on the evaluations link in the left menu and see all of the current evaluations that have been scheduled for you and what you need to get ready for. We have a Term 8 Rough Draft 1 evaluation, which we just uploaded our portfolio for, so we are ready for that. If we want to preview the rubric, simply click on the name of the evaluation and the name of the term, and then you'll see that your portfolio has been attached. And then you can see the rubric of how you will be scored. Once an evaluation has been completed, you can see your scores by clicking on the Evaluations link and clicking the Completed tab. Again, simply click into the name of the evaluation and the term, and you will see each score that was given to you on the different areas of the rubric. And you will also see any comments that were left. If you need any additional assistance, you can always refer to the help menu at the top of the screen or submit an email to support at foliotech.com.